Well, the build I'm going to be talking about in today's video isn't a new build. I wanted to talk about it as it has been surging in popularity over the past month. I made a video two months ago talking about what I thought was going to be the best Warlock build going into Season of the Deep. And now that we're a little over a month into the season, I'm here to say that I was wrong, but not by that much. However, if the Sunbracer Solar Warlock build isn't the most popular, then what is? Well, it seems that the Infinite Ability Arc Warlock build, as I've decided to call it, has taken the title. But why? What makes the Infinite Ability Warlock build the most popular? Well, I'm Sniper KH, and let's find out. So let's dive into what this build is. The Infinite Ability Warlock build is, well, it's pretty self-explanatory. It's a build designed for you to have grenades, melees, and rifts up pretty much all the time. This build is centered entirely around getting as many Ionic Traces as you can, as Ionic Traces will grant you ability energy. Due to that, there's two exotics that you need to use for this build, those being the Fallen Sunstar Exotic Helmet and the Coldheart Exotic Trace Rifle. Fallen Sunstar will make your Ionic Traces move faster and grant additional ability energy, while also granting nearby allies ability energy, so it lets you serve as almost a support for your team, while you obliterate everything. Coldheart makes it so that while you're in the highest damage state of this weapon, which happens when you're doing sustained damage to a target, it will create Ionic Traces. What you're going to want to do once you have these two together is you're going to want to copy the build you see on screen now, as it'll prove to be an amazing pairing with this setup. You should also use mods like Firepower, Ashes to Assets, Arc Surge, and more to really enhance this build. Now you might be thinking to yourself, this is a good build, but how is this the best Warlock build currently? Well. Let's find out. If you've been paying attention to the seasonal artifact, then you probably knew the answer to today's video. The seasonal mods available to us this season focus around three different elements. We have Strand, Void, and Arc. The Arc seasonal mods this season make this Warlock build even better than it did before. I chose to go for Authorized Mods Arc for the reduced Arc mod cost, Amped Up for the longer amplification, Thunderous Retort if I want to do more damage with my super, Electric Armor for additional damage resistance, Shock and Awe to have a Volt Shot like effect on enemies when you get Arc Final Blows, and Lightning Strikes twice to help get my grenade back just a tiny bit faster. Using all of these mods together helped enhance this build into a monstrous build and also into one of my favorite builds to mess around with. I took this build into a few different activities like the Avalon mission, Deep Dives, Wicked Implements mission, and a Master Nightfall, and this build exceeded my expectations in almost all areas. I will say that while this build did do pretty well in Master Nightfalls, I probably wouldn't run it all the time, as it does take a bit of effort to make work, but if you can get it going in high-end content, you will have a blast. Going back to Avalon and Deep Dives, this build will tear through enemies at a comical speed and feels almost ridiculously strong compared to other options. And while there will be some people that will bring up weapons like the Aikilos SMG or Forbearance that can also clear adds super quick and efficiently, I want to point out once again that this build allows you to generate stupid amounts of ability energy, which in return lets you get your grenades, melees, rifts, and even supers out faster. So now that I've covered that, let's quickly discuss combat flow. When opening a fight, you want to use your grenade and rift immediately. This is so that way when you start getting ionic traces, you aren't wasting the energy they could give you. Once you've popped those abilities, simply spray enemies down with cold heart and be close enough for the ionic traces to try towards your position. And as you pick them up, watch as you get your abilities back at comical speeds. As you get your abilities back, you want to be using them again so that when you are making your Ionic Traces, you're also getting the energy that they provide. From there, continue this loop until you've cleared out the room. It's a very simple combat flow to follow and will always provide consistent results. Overall, it makes a lot of sense as to why this build is so popular this season. While I do believe that the Sunbracers build is one of the best builds in the game right now, nothing is topping this Arc Warlock build this season. The Infinite Arc Warlock build is simply the best Warlock build in the game. Well, that'll wrap up this video. If you found it helpful, then consider dropping a like and subscribing for more Destiny content dropping every week. If you'd like more content from me, then consider stopping by my streams that happen right here on YouTube. Otherwise, be sure to check out my social media platforms linked in the description below. With that being said, I'm SniperKH, and I'm out. Good luck with gaming.